Hey guys, a little nerd news here. So Microsoft, article from The Verge, I'll link to it in the description. Microsoft wants to make the web more productive with its new fluid framework. So I'm just going to read the first paragraph and I'm going to give you my commentaries on this. What does it all mean? What does it all mean? Microsoft, I believe now by market cap, is the biggest company in the world once again. Microsoft is unveiling a whole new fluid framework developer platform today at the company's Build 2019 conference. It was a couple days ago. Fluid framework is designed to let developers build more shared and interactive services and apps on the web. Microsoft's framework will include support for co-authoring on the web at a speed and scale, quote, not yet achieved in industry, says the company. Microsoft has dabbled with multi-person collaboration on the web in both Office and its whiteboard app. It appears it's bringing those learnings and benefits to everyone. As part of this fluid framework, the content produced using this system will also be more componentized so developers can use it across apps or in a new flexible document format. Microsoft is also integrating digital assets like Cortana to translate text, pull in content from the web, suggest edits, and other tasks. Microsoft is making the Fluid Framework available to developers and it will be integrated into apps like Word, Microsoft Teams, Outlook, and other products. The first software development kit will be available for developers later this year. Microsoft demonstrated its own implementation of Fluid Framework yet built today, including live translation in Word for every participant in a document and the ability to share real-time tables directly within a Microsoft Teams chat interface. Microsoft also showed this running across Chromium Edge, Chrome Edge, Firefox, indicating that there will be broad support for this productive web tech. Since I'm almost done, I'm also read the rest. Fluid Framework seems like a big step toward Microsoft's increased focus on the web recently. The software maker has also switched to Chromium for its Edge browser. Chromium is the Chrome engine for web site rendering, and it looks increasingly like we'll see a bigger effort to improve Microsoft's apps and services on the internet for all platforms, rather than a big focus on improving apps dedicated to Windows like we've seen in the past. So, yeah, another thing in another article, I was reading how now Microsoft is going to be embedding the Linux kernel right into Windows 10. Essentially, Microsoft is embracing openness, which goes against its traditional history. And number two, it's going towards the web platform rather than native. So it's embracing web technologies, think HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, versus native development. That's where it's going. And so this is further evidence to something I've been preaching for years now, that when in doubt, when you're not sure which way to go, always go for the open technologies because the open technologies typically win out over closed technologies. So I did it about a year ago. I said, Swift is going down, and I angered so many Swift people. I'll put the link in the video below. I'll put the link to the video in the description below, and people were all very angry with me. And I said, basically, the premise was that because web tech was getting more powerful in terms of mobile development, that native development, whether it be, uh, whether it be uh, Swift for iOS or Kotlin Java for Android, I thought that the web technology solutions for native mobile, for mobile development was going to take over more and more over time. And here's yet more evidence where the biggest tech company in the world, by market share anyway, is now again moving more and more towards open web-based productivity tools, web-based solutions rather than native solutions, rather than saying you got to use Windows or saying, oh, this works everywhere. So as I've said many times before, if you're getting into development, the safest bet overall is the web stack. You can do web development, web design, you can go freelance, you can go uh, work for larger organizations. You can do mobile development. It's, it's just so flexible. And so many companies and so many solutions are being based on web 
technology. It just makes sense to get into that more than just about anything else. More, more job opportunities, much more flexibility in terms of the type of work, and much more flexibility in, term, in terms of where you work, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right, that's it for today. Bye-bye. If you're going to get into web design or web development, you're going to have to learn hosting sooner than later. Why? Because a big part of being a web developer, a web designer, is to understand servers and hosting, the different options. So this web hosting company, they trust that you're going to stay with them, so they're willing to pay for your web design training. All you have to do is click on the link below you buy one year worth of basic hosting. That's all you need to start with. And you'll get access to my full stack web development course for free. So it's a very, very good deal. This is something that they approached me with a little while ago, about a month ago. I put out a survey, about eight, 900 people responded. More than half said they would be really into this deal. In addition, to buying the hosting to get your free web design training with my interactive training system, Studio Web. This is much, much, much better than simple video-based training. Video-based training is fine, books are fine, but what Studio Web is a fully interactive, gamified training system with instant response, instant help, instant feedback, so you know exactly where you are all the time, plus huge amount of quizzing and code challenges. There's nothing like it out there. We built it from scratch. Now, you may be somebody who's already done my web development course, and you want to maybe get into my freelancing and entrepreneur course. So what I will arrange, when you buy the web hosting from the company, you could either choose the web stack course or if you want, I'll create another package that you would get for free, the Entrepreneur and Freelancing course. Now, there you go. So you got a great option. So you want to get into web design development, have the web hosting company pay for you. You need to learn about web hosting anyway. Some of you may be asking, yeah, but I'm just starting out. I'm, I'm not going to need web hosting right away. With my course, within the first hour, you can start uploading your web pages to the live server to learn how to use a live server, understand domain names, all this kind of stuff. Consider it part of your training. Now remember, a lot of people will go to boot camps and pay five, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 to learn real world software development and web development and so on. This web hosting company is gonna pay for you. You just gotta buy one year worth of basic hosting from them, that's it. Now on the other hand, if you already know your web design development and you're ready to monetize it to turn into either a business, freelancing, or maybe get a job. Again, get the web hosting. Good way to promote yourself is to get a website up. Everybody should have a website, your own personal website. Remember, you can't just have a social media presence anymore because you see, you know, regardless of the politics, social media giants like Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, if they don't like you, it can shut you down. So you have to have your own website. So if you're really interested in the entrepreneur and freelance course, I'll throw that in as a package. So you have two options, get web hosting, get your web stack training, or get the web hosting and get your entrepreneur and the freelance course for free. They're going to pay for it. The company trusts that you're going to like their service so much that they're willing to pay for your training. All right. I hope you like this deal. Link below. Thanks. Bye-bye.